give him praise because he dwells in the midst of your praise wherever you are wherever you are you're inside mpiaw motivation prayer instruction action and worship you heard of the song just now michael malachi featuring tiffany levy a better life and guess what the words of the song says it's turning it's turning it's turning every day it's turning around for you and it's turning around for me it's getting better because i'm speaking to the man himself his name is uh, minister michael taylor and his singing name is uh michael malachi good morning sir and welcome to love 101 good to have you this morning sir good morning and good morning world <laughs> yes Happy new month to you man yeah man you know i i I somehow, you know, when I started praying this morning, I was a spring and I'm saying, God, I'm sensing that you're going to do something beyond the ordinary this morning. I was saying, God, why is this morning just feel so different? Why am I feeling so different? And then when I realized, you know what, I'm in a new month. So I feel new. I feel like God is getting ready to do something new. And he's going to do something new this morning inside MPIAW. Again, I have with me. Minister Michael Taylor, you know him as Michael Malika. I don't know if you, they know he has any other name, if you have any other name out there, <laughs> which I don't know of. Uh, that's it, man. That's it. That's it. That's it, definitely. So, man of God, um, I know you worship at, um, that's Wafif. Um, um, I, 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 I know you from some of those videos that I normally see you doing. Uh, I saw you were, you're leading some of those um, fasting services. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. So at this time, just going to be turning things over to you at this time as you share this morning's motivational word inside MPIAW. Listeners of Love 101, uh, let's hear from Minister Michael Taylor. Over to you, sir. Glory be to God and God bless you. I come with greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to greet your mighty, uh, mighty man of God. I want to greet the, the Love 101 family. Such a blessing to be with you this morning and on this special day the fifth month of the year the first day of the month such a powerful uh uh time you know i want to give honor to my bishop my first lady the first uh, the first family the entire ministry of worship and faith international fellowship you know uh, i just want to big up the, my my church family and all the supporters, the, the followers, and various different social media devices. God bless you all. You know, good morning to you all, Jamaica listening, whether you're listening in Jamaica or across the world. I want to share with you a quick word today. I want to help somebody to rise into their purpose. I want to help somebody to rise into their call. You see, the biggest war you'll ever face in life is the war with yourself. The biggest war you'll ever face in life is the war with yourself. The war against fear, the war, the war against past failures and past relationships that you have not gotten over as yet. The war against rejection, the war against wounds, the war against who raped you, who rejected you, who hurt you, who abused you in the past. The war against that. The war, the spiritual warfare, the spiritual warfare as it relates to inherited curses and the curses in your bloodline, the things that you are fighting against on the inside of you, the war against pride, the war against selfishness, the war against, you know, the, the past sins you know, that you haven't gotten over as yet and you haven't learned to forgive forgive and even to forgive yourself the war against yourself i want to talk to somebody today about the war that you're facing on the inside the battle that you are facing on the inside i want to talk to a jacob today and by the end of this session i declare and declare that you will walk in the israel that you are the Israel that you are called to be, the Israel that that is locked up on the inside of you must come out today on this first day of the month of May in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Looking at a passage of scripture here 
In the Bible, we see in Genesis 32, in verse 25, there about uh, 24, the Bible says, And Jacob was left alone. He had an alone time with God. And the Bible says, And there, there wrestled a man with him until daybreak. There wrestled a man with him until daybreak. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go ex except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel for a prince has no power with God and with men and has prevailed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you that it's already anointed. Let lives be touched. Let lives be turned in the name of Jesus Christ. So we see here Jacob was wrestling with an angel. Jacob was wrestling with not only an angel, but with his identity. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that this comfort Discomfort is not your enemy. Discomfort is your friend. You see, God has to bring you to a place where you have to say enough is enough. God has to cause circumstances to come your way, to provoke that which is on the inside of you. If you never get go through it, you will never claim that prize. If you never go through things in life, the processing won't take place. The shaping won't take place. You have to go through the fire. The fire is important to bring you to the place that you need to be. Something has to aggravate you. Something has to you. For you to begin to see a true ability. Before now, David didn't um, uh, uh, Jacob didn't know himself. Before this, before this, before this, Jacob didn't know himself. But until this defining moment, Jacob had an encounter that shift his life forever. Many of us are walking around with the wrong labels. Uh, that's why you're not functioning at your true ability. You're not functioning at your true ability because you have not found you as yet. And until you go through that process, Processing until you until you get to that place when you say, God, I'm not leaving here until you give me an encounter. God, I'm not leaving this place until you bless me. God, I'm not leaving this place until I hear from you. Hear from you. The Bible says, my friend, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. I don't know about you, but a man that does know his identity is walking around like a headless chicken. When you find your true identity, you will begin to soar like eagles. You will be begin to soar in your true, your true call, the true you, your true ability. And today I want to provoke somebody that is at the place where you think that nothing is working for you. You're at the place where you think uh, all hell is around you and you're not seeing the fruit, uh, the manifestation that you're looking for. Uh, today, I want to provoke you to be like a man called Jacob, at this hour of the night, at this morning, in at this hour of the morning, there is a provocation for a manifestation. There is a provocation for a manifestation. Unless there is a provocation, certain things will never manifest until you until you go through agony, until you go through pain, until you reach to the place where you are broken. God will not hear your voice because a broken spirit and a 
contrite heart, God will not despise. And I'm talking to somebody today. You are at the place of breaking because you are not seeing the way out. And you are saying, God, 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 where are you? Where are you, Lord? At this time, where are you? But you have got to find yourself in a place of called Jacob's place. The Bible said Jacob was left alone. Jacob said family, children, excuse me for a little while because me and God has to meet. At this time, I have to meet with God. There's sometimes you have to, there, listen, you have, sometimes you have got to sense that you're at that place where you have to lock away with God. Every man, every woman has to have a time alone with God, where you say, God is me and you alone. God is me and you alone. I need to hear from you concerning my marriage. I need to hear from you concerning my business. I, I need to hear from you concerning my children, my household, my job. I need to hear from you. Too many times, shit. Christians are living from sermon to sermon and not one encounter to the next encounter. You need an encounter to another encounter, not only a sermon and another sermon. You need your own encounter when you go into that secret place and lock yourself away to, with God and say, God, I'm not leaving this place until I hear from you. I need one revelation that will shift my life forever you need a revelation so jacob was at war with himself when he saw what he had did with his brothers and what was going to and he thought that his brother was going to kill him he was fed up with himself because he was a trickster he tricked his brother, he robbed his brother of his blessing. And because of that, he was now living in fear. He was now convicted, but not yet converted. And we see here that because he was at this place, he was now aggravated. And he said, God, I am broken. Look at the, the, the stress that I've caused, the problems that I've caused. I need to find you again. And he decided that he was going to leave himself alone in a place. And he got an encounter. And he began to wrestle with that angel. And when he began to wrestle with him, he said, Angel, I'm not letting you go until I hear something, until I get the message that you brought from me. Tonight is, an heaven, is a heavenly encounter. Tonight is a breaking in the realm of the spirit. And I'm, and I'm provoking somebody that is hearing my voice to enter into that secret place again. Because in that secret place, you will find the answer. In that secret place, you will find your purpose, your call. In that secret place, you will find your true identity. Because when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You see, wrestle means to get dusty. Sometimes you have got to get dusty. Men have this theology, this philosophy that man shouldn't ball and man shouldn't cry out to God like how women, women do. But the devil is a liar. Every man under the hearing of my voice, there's a time that you must find with God. When you lock yourself away and you cry before him, <laughs> your ego has to die. Your pride has to die. And unless you die to yourself, you will not hear. I want to challenge you tonight to be at the place where you are broken. Several years ago, let me just testify in two minutes or so. Several years ago, I didn't know who I was. I was struggling with my identity. I, th I thought I was going to die within that season. I had no hope for today. I was struggling. I was struggling. I was struggling with myself. And I realized that nothing was working for me. Not, no doors were opening for me. I had education, but I didn't have grace. I didn't have the blessing. 
I was going to church, but I didn't have favor. And I realized that something was missing from my life. And at that point of brokenness, I learned some strategy. And Bishop McLean at the time, he gave me a CD. And on the CD he gave me, he said, what's mine is mine. And he taught me that if you're going to get something from God, some things you have to wrestle for. And I realized that all that was for me was already in the heavenlies. God had already given stuff to me. As you read in Daniel, you'll know that things can be released to you, but unless you, unless you learn to wrestle, it will not be released. And I remember jumping and shouting in church. People laugh at me, people criticize. I remember going to one fasting service to an ex. I remember interceding until my belly bottom hurt me. I remember laying on the ground and crying to God like a pregnant woman about to give birth. And I had to learn to cry to him and say, God, release me from this. And can I tell you, as I prayed, as I intercede, as I push past limitations that the devil had for me, can I tell you that a release came into my life and God's spoke to me and gave me my true identity and revealed to me my call and here I am a mighty man of God helping people to, people to come into their destiny, people to come into their purpose, all because of an encounter what is it that is in the heavenlies with your name on it and you have not yet learned to intercede for it what is it that God has promised you and you have not learned, learned to appropriate it. Tonight I provoke you. There is a provocation. There is an intercessor inside of you. There is intercession in your belly. The fervent prayer of a righteous man very much. And I come tonight to help somebody to pray. I'm going to pray in one minute. Uh -huh. To shift something concerning you. I'm going to pray to stir up the gift in you. Like Paul laid hands on Timothy. I decree and declare over your life that the warrior inside of you will be. Oh my God. There's a woman watching me. There's a woman listening to me. Depression, depression, depression. For months now, you are in depression. You have been taking pills because of headaches. And the stress that is upon you. The, oh my God Almighty, help me here. If you lay hands on your head right now, deliverance is coming to you. There is an anointing, there is a breaking, there is a shaking at this hour. Like Paul and Silas in the prison, and they sang praises unto God. I command a war cry at this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I call on you for your people that are listening now. And I command a shaking in the realm of the spirit. Let prison bars be torn down. Let limitations be torn down. Let them be torn now. Let them be shattered now. Oh my God, we shatter every platter. I shatter every curse. Let the blood of Jesus work at this hour. Let the blood of Jesus work on your behalf. Let the blood of of Jesus work. Oh my God. There's somebody watching me. You are driving and you're saying, God, give me the grace. Give me the grace to do it. And I see you and you're saying enough is enough. And you say you can't take it no more. You want to you wanna ride off. You want to ride out of this world. But it's not your time to die. I command life wherever you are. I command life wherever you are. I command life in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare it now. We command strength upon your people. We command intercession to be unlocked. We command grace to flow now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let ears be opened up to the prophetic. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I give you thanks and I give you praise now in Jesus' name. Wherever you, wherever you are at right now, begin to praise him. 
begin to give him thanks to appropriate this grace. You will hear from your Redeemer. You will hear the voice of God. You will hear. You will hear and know your purpose. You will hear. Let, let the God I serve direct your path and lead you into all righteousness and lead you into all blessings now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen, amen, amen. Amen. Mighty God. Amen and amen. Let the amen. grace of God lead you this morning. Be like Jacob. Wrestle for your blessing. You can't always be cute. You can't always be laid back. There comes a time when you have to be radical. You have to say, Lord, I will not leave. I will not move until you bless me. The man of God is here this morning. He's here to pray. He's here to tarry with you. He's here to release the blessings of the Lord to us, the listeners of Love 101. His name is Michael. That's Minister Michael Taylor. You also know him as Michael Malika. He's a gospel recording artist. He's a minister at Worship and Faith International Fellowship over there at Old Arbor Road and the different branches around the world. Of course, the man of God is going to be praying over your requests in a little while. We really want to welcome our friends again who are on Facebook, our friends who are on YouTube. Really want to welcome you for being on board at this time. So going to be taking your WhatsApp messages. Not sure what's happening with the, with the computer here. Going to try and see if I can work with some stuff for you guys here. But I'm not able to see. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's over this side. Okay, great. All right, so going to be taking some of your WhatsApp messages at this time. Uh, this one here, my brother, sister, um, Michelle Scarlett, she's asking for prayer. Uh, Reverend um, Adil Mitchell, hello to you. My friend here was listening from Toronto, Colleen. Another person here is saying, um, good morning, Roshan, your guest. I'm asking for prayer that I can get a financial breakthrough and all right, a payback. Um, some people I borrowed money from. Um, I buried my father recently. And I'm also praying for healing. Another person here, um, they're having a pain in their back and left knee. Uh, my friend here is asking for prayer. She's naming out all of her children. She's asking for prayer for job and deliverance. Um, the rest of material to finish her home. Um, she's praying for her cousin, Damian Palmer, who is in the hospital, the university hospital. She's also asking for prayer for um, Beyond Bailey and... To, Taj uh, for breakthrough and deliverance in their life. Another one here, prayer for Rochelle in Montego Bay for her healing in her body. All right. Um, I believe some of the voice notes will not be played uh, through the the WhatsApp. So gonna be ha gonna have to play some of them. Um, we're gonna allow the man of God to pray in a little while, but let me see if I can connect. Uh, the phone to the board now so we can play some of the voice notes that are not connecting on the browser here. So let me see if I can fix that for you guys so you can get to hear your voice notes here so the man of God can hear what you are requesting. Let me see if I can play this one. All right, here we go. Shane, I'm John Grant. Mm-hmm. A month ago, be sending this request. I'm, I've been having pain in my knee ever since. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Pain in my knee ever since. Several days, several years. Mm -hmm. And no matter what I do, no matter what I use, doctor says arthritis. Okay. But I'm not getting rid of the pain at all, at all, at all. Okay, okay. I, all right. I, so the man of God will be praying for your, uh, will be praying over your requests. Um, we're still seeing some more here on WhatsApp. They're coming in left, right, and center. Um, deliverance from evil people and uh, requesting more of God. Another one says, I want Jesus in my life. I want to experience his presence. I want to serve him wholeheartedly. Um, another person here. Prayer for my eyes and feet, um, numbness in my feet, Sister Jennifer McDonald. Um, another person here, constant pursuance of my adversaries, um, needing prayers. Um, and also another person here, uh, my soul inspiration every day, especially when I'm down. Da 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 da. 
please pray for me. I'm June from Claremont Linstead. Um, another person here is saying, um, divine healing, miraculous in Jesus' name, body, bone, marrow, my oral inflammation, lumps and bumps and all of these things here. But this person here is saying internal exams and external exams in Jesus' name. I claim victory. So this person is claiming victory. So a lot of requests coming in here. Uh, my friend, let me hear what you have to say. Good morning, Rasheen. Mm -hmm. I'm asking prayer for my brother, Daniel Russell, mm -hmm. in the San Hans Bay Hospital. I'm asking the man of God to pray for him. All right. Another person here says, good morning. And my friend out of the UK saying, good morning, brother Rashane. We give God thanks for, for a new month. I'm asking for prayer for my husband. His heart is very hard. Um, thanks much. Um, another person here says, please pray for our financial breakthrough employment. Another person here is asking for prayer for uh, for me, my husband, my children, that God will cover us. So man of God, going to be tossing things over to you at this time um, as you'll be praying over these requests. And of course, you'll be praying generally for the station, Love 101, and all the listeners who are listening at this time. Over to you, man of God, as you pray. Amen, indeed, indeed, indeed. I just want to say this, man of God, at our church, we have a principle called appropriate it. We appropriate, it means to snatch. So it's already available and God is ready to work. Amen. I believe that any platform that God calls me on, there are angels working with me to deliver, to heal. I, I see in the realm of the spirit, with somebody with a stomach issue and there is a, a bloating kind of thing mm -hmm. that I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Um, I'm going to ask you to, to lay your hands on your stomach. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you to get some water. I'm going to ask people that are feeling pain to, to get some olive oil, get water or something. Because, you know, you have got to learn how to appropriate this. You know, God is ready to heal. God is already always ready to deliver. Once the anointing is ready to work, the special grace is ready to work, God is ready to deliver. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's about 50 people that I'm going to minister to, and you will begin to get results. Deliverance is about to take place. There are some persons that I'm going to minister to also. You are believing God for grace grace you you want to be stirred to pray you want to be stirred to push i heard somebody making requests about exams and that individual that mentioned that exam there's a strong call on your life there's a strong call on your life i'm going to pray for love 101 and then i'll be be touching these things as i go along but people have got listening to me you have to appropriate this thing my grandmother used to, to hold on to the TV when the men of God were praying. I didn't quite understand it. But yeah, it's appropriating the grace that is flowing at that moment. You want something to go come your way. I thought it was stupidness, but it's not stupidness. It's you connecting by faith with what God is doing at the time. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up your man servant and that you have placed him on this session at this time. I thank you for rushing and I thank you for the mission that you have called him to do. I pray for special grace over the love 101 family and as you have used them to be a mouthpiece to the jump make a land we love. I decree and declare more grace and I decree and declare more strength for the station. Even now, Lord God, as you're working in the supernatural, as you're working in terms of miracles, even now, I speak to the atmosphere and I command a breaking in the realms of the spirit concerning healing. Lord God, every spirit at work that is oppressing that person's stomach, that is causing that discomfort, that 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 thing that is causing that interruption in that person's stomach, even now by the power of the blood of the Lamb, I command that thing to leave you right now. Let the blood, let the blood of Jesus work on your behalf. Every pain in your knees, every pain upon you, every abnormal pain. There is a person watching me. There 
a person tuning in, whether it be online, on the radio, or whatever, I hear clearly there is pain all over your body. There is a pain that comes all over your body. It comes and goes. But can I tell you, tonight is the last night. I break the back of the enemy, working against your progress, working against your calling. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God that heals is here. The God that delivers is here. I command healing now. I command healing now. I command healing now. Every devil had work to stop you. Every devil had work to stop you. I command them to let you go. Let them go now. Let them go now. I command your healing now. I command your deliverance now. I command it now. By the power of the blood of the Lamb. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command pain to leave you. I command oppression to leave you. I command your deliverance now. I command your healing now. I command it now. By the power of the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I'm seeing somebody. You have gotten paid, but your money is finished. You have gotten paid, but your 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 your, your salary is not enough. You are at a place of depression. Can I tell you, your month of favor has begun in the month of faith. Me. Your month of, of favor has begun in the month of May. I decree and declare that helpers are coming to you. I decree and declare that help is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Abba Father, for your healing and deliverance right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Three amen. minutes after one o'clock right here on the family station love 101 we're getting ready to open the phone lines this time for you to call in you can give us a call at 968-8327 968-8328 you get to speak directly to the man of god you get to let god arise we have to let god arise and all the enemies be scattered this morning 968-8327 968-8328 those are the numbers to reach us in the studios here at love 101 you can speak directly to god's chosen servant this morning Seems like the phone lines are down. Not seeing any calls coming in. So remember the numbers to call 968 8327. 968 8328. Those are the numbers to reach us in the studio this morning. Good night. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? Where you're calling from? Uh, good night. I'm Keisha. I'm calling from St. Mary. Keisha, and, you're... Like to... yes. and you'd like to speak to the man of God this morning? Yes, I'd like him to pray for me because, you know, I'm going through some rough times. You're going through some? Life. Oh, you're going yes. through some rough times. All right, go ahead, man of God. Keisha is on the line. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for Keisha. I thank you for who she is in the realm of the spirit. I pray for you, woman of God, that uh, a special grace will be released to you for you to, to come into maturity, 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 spiritual maturity, because you have to understand one major thing you have to understand as I'm praying for you now, you have to understand what is in your bloodline. 
You have to understand what you are fighting against, and you have got to understand your oppositions. You can't take your 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 life, your walk with God. I want to ask you: Are you a Christian? Are you a yes, Christian? Yes, okay, sir. very good. Very good. I want to let you know you can't take your Christian journey journey lightly, because the place that you are you are at in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing where you need to step it up. And the Bible talks about this kind only go it by prayer and fasting. Lady, there is a place that you need to break out of. There is a level that you need to break out of urgently because I see where the enemy is is planning certain things against you. But today I decree and declare that special grace will come upon you for you to hunger in the realm of the spirit. Listen Listen, listen. When I come on this platform, when I'm here, when I sense what I hear, I say to you, you need, you need hunger. And I declare and declare over your life that a stirring will begin inside of you, that you will hunger and thirst after God more. Because I see where that a, a level of increase must come for you to defeat the giants that is around you. Every business plan, every business idea that is hiding inside of you. I see this woman and I hear her discussing things concerning business are things that that you would like to do but I see there is a blockage but can I tell you tonight the curse is broken I release fire wherever you are woman and I command a stirring right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command a stirring I command a stirring I command a release for you you will hear from God you will not be limited you will not be blocked in the name name of Jesus Christ. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord shall lift up a standard. Today, I decree and declare over your life grace and strength to propel into your car. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Uh, Miss Williams, go ahead. Uh, yes. I like strength and more Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I decree and declare it so. Strength be unto you, man. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Bless you. Thanks for calling. Yes. 968-8327. 968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us here in studio. Really want to welcome our friends on Facebook and those on YouTube. Caller, good morning. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? Where you're calling from? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Not here. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good night. What's your name? Where you're calling from? I'm calling from Montego Bay. My name is Cassandra. What's your name? Cassandra. Cassandra. Hold the lines, yeah. Cassandra. Let me take another call. Call a good morning. Yeah. You're live on Love 101. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Uh, I'm calling for Pastor. I don't know, girl. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you're, you're the radio on. You have to turn your radio off for now. As we're not going to be able to assist you. You want me to turn off already? You turn it off already? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name again? Cassandra. Cassandra. And what was the name of the first caller? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Cassandra from Montego. There's another caller. What's your name, caller? Shanana Smalling. What's Smalling? Shanana. Shanana? Yes. All right. So we have Cassandra and Shanana. Go ahead and um, go ahead, Cassandra, and then Shanana speaks to speak to the man of God. Okay. Good night. Good morning. Um, I know this time, yes, the man of God, I would like to pray for me. But everything that he speaks is me. I'm a Christian, and sometimes I feel like I want to give it because nothing that I pray, nothing not going my way. I do everything that me and say, and there's nothing at all that coming my way. So I would like to pray for me and my family. This is Cassandra? Yes. Okay, Cassandra, let me pray for you now. I decree and declare that favor will be open unto you. Whatever has been blocking you will be removed in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare favor. This is your month of favor. This is the fifth month. 
and I decree and declare over your life. Five is the number of grace. Woman, I hear restoration. I, re I, I, declare, I hear restoration of heart, restoration of mind. I, I decree and declare that this what this which I'm seeing in your life concerning restoring, I decree and declare it to manifest in this month. Pay attention to your dreams too. Pay attention, pay attention to your dreams. God is speaking to you. You are not powerless. You just need to be activated and understand who you are. Woman, I decree and declare over your life that every blockage will be removed. Your eyes will open. I, you will listen. You, you will see special things happening for you. If you lift up your head and believe, because God is ready to work for you now. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is ready to work for you now. Hallelujah. Hey, All right. Yes. Is Shanana there? Shanana is still there? Yes, Shanana. Yeah, go ahead and speak to the man of God. Good morning again. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Just maybe sit back from this appointment. It's as if it's every, nothing I try that has to do with success really works. It's like I, 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 I started college 28. 12 and it's as if I still can't attain my degree. I don't know what is happening. Even if I get a job, people are just against me. I don't have to say anything. My daughter got sick last year this time and then she is ill again this time. Oh. It, it, I don't know. I'm not losing you have to, hope you, have to, you have to watch that. You know, whenever I see oh. things like that happening in a season, it means but, that it's a pattern. It's a, it's a, it's a spirit. And the man of God will we'll deal with that. Go ahead, man of God. Yes, that's a cycle. There, you know, that's a cycle. It means that you know there is a curse in effect. A lot of times people don't want to use that word, but it's the truth. So there, the curse has to be reversed. And one of the key things that I want to do, lady that is listening to me right now, you see, as from tonight, your red, your ears will be open up. Because what is fighting you is what you don't know. And I pray and declare over your life that your eyes will be open. The dream realm will be open to you. I'm telling you, if you pay attention to your dreams tonight, you will get dreams. You will get visions. For this week, pay attention because God is going to speak to your woman. It is not by chance that we are connected today because because God wants to deliver you. He wants to start in the era of you knowing and coming into understanding. I declare and declare over your life, woman, that your understanding will open up. God will reveal you to you what books to read, who to connect to, who, who to help you. And I declare and declare over your life that the enemy will not block you anymore from the truth because once the truth is revealed to you, then deliverance will come, freedom will come. Let every chain upon you, mm -hmm. let every chain that is upon you, on you, every limitation that the enemy has set, be broken tonight by force, by fire. I command your degree to come alive. I command your schooling to come alive. I command your income to come alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it will not fall upon your children's children. The devil is a liar. I command that devil to back off from your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, release your fire. Release your power and let the spell of the enemy be broken tonight, be shattered tonight, be shattered this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Thank Amen. you. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Yes. All right. Bless you both. Thanks for calling 968-8327, 968-8328. Phone lines are now buzzing. Let's take another call. Caller number one, what's your name? Good night. My name is Lorraine. All right, hold on, Lorraine. Let's take caller number two. Caller number two, what is your name? Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Yes, what is your name? I'm Yvonne. All right, hold on, Yvonne. Um, let's start yes, with Lorraine. I don't, have, I don't have too much credit. You don't have credit? All right, Yvonne. What you say? Go ahead quickly. I just want them to pray for me for my breakthrough. 
and that every setback spirit will be removed in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Lorraine. Yes. Good morning, man of God. I'd like to pray for my niece and for my my brother. With the coming from from a spiritual attack and for my family in general, please. Amen. Father, we bless them now and we release grace, we release your power, we release your fire, we neutralize the powers of the enemy. Receive grace, woman of God. Receive empowerment. Receive deliverance. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you for calling. Thank bless you, so you, Thank you, Sister Lorraine. 968-8327, 968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us this morning. I know there's a blessing with your name written on it this morning. 968-8327, 968-8328. Call a good morning. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? My name is Gloria Gordon. All right, go ahead, Gloria, and speak to the man of God. Um, Pastor... Um, because, um, um, she could have a heart problem. Mm -hmm. So, ever since um, I was a child, um, I picked them, she could have rheumatic heart disease. And since over six months ago, that affected me again very badly. I'm really mm -hmm. suffering from it. I need prayers, I need the me to pray. And uh, I can't even sleep. Okay. I think they have been admitted in hospital two times, come out back. I really need your help. Amen. Father, we decree and declare your healing grace, your healing power over this woman's life. Show her your mercy. Send her your helpers. Lord God, show her your mercy. Let healing manifest from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for calling. We have on the line Shalene. Are you there, Shalene? Shalene, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I'm calling for prayer this morning for healing for a job. You're calling for a job? You need a job? You're unemployed? I, yes, I was working. Mm -hmm. and went off and right now I'm trying to get back my job and all I did um sign up my contract and on now okay Wait, hold on a second hold on a second call a good morning you're live on love 101 what's your name hello all right so we lost that one all right so shaleen you're praying for a job you're praying for a contract what kind of work do you do security security work yes. so that's the field that you want to work in not necessarily but mm -hmm. as i said it's just what they get until they get a few hundred. No money. You have to tell God what you want. It's not what you're getting now. It's not what left. We're not doing any what left this morning. But just a second. Let's take a call. Call a good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Dwight. All right. Hold on, Dwight. Let's um, continue with Shaleen before we go to you. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, man of God, and speak to Shaleen. Father, I thank you for special grace, special anointing. Father, I thank you for your woman servant. I pray that you will open up her appetite for more of you. And Lord, as she pursues you, Lord, give her wisdom. Give her wisdom, a special grace for wisdom. And I pray, Lord God, that in this time that our true identity will be revealed, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I unlock everything that is locked up for you. I loose everything that, that needs loosing for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thanks for calling, Shelly. And remember to call back and to testify when you receive that job, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, bless you. All right, we have another call on the line. Go ahead, Dwight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go I ahead. Would like, mm -hmm. Yes, I would like, I would like you to pray for for me no i'm going um i'm going through a divorce and the, the, my family has ripped apart you know everything is just going bad for me we are the family thing is everything is just um from 
I, I was baptized and since I started to seek that Jesus, yes. things is just, everything is just going bad. Okay. All right. Go ahead, man of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your man servant. Lord, I thank you. Sir, you will not be the real. You will not be the real. The enemy wanted to be to do more than that. Can I tell you? The enemy wanted to do more than he has already done. But I prophesy over your life that you will not be the real. I prophesy over your life that your inheritance, that which is due unto you, the gift that is due unto you, both spiritually and physically, because I see where the enemy has worked over time to block up your ministry. This man that I'm talking to right now, that is here in my voice, this man has ministry locked up on the inside of him. This man has a strong call and a strong anointing on his life. This man is a mighty warrior. I see you in the realm of the spirit. And can I tell you, man of God, you will not be the real. Let every gift that is on the inside of your belly be activated. Can I tell you, you are a kingdom ambassador. You will provide, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wealth is in your belly. Wealth is in you. Wealth is in you. I decree and declare over your life that you will not be the real. You are coming into what is yours. You are coming into what is yours. I, I unlock the fighter inside of you. I unlock the warrior on the inside of you. And I cover your family under the blood. That which the enemy meant for evil. God is turning it around for your good. Sir, I decree and declare over your life that what's yours will be released in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak it into your being. I speak it into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Dwight. We have my friend Shireen from Baltimore, USA. Go ahead. Yes. Um, my man should do to pray for me. Um, for my divorce, I'm having some serious problem with it, and I'm I'm um, I need some financial breakthrough with my spiritual life, with my financial. I just needed to pray for me to get rid of my emptiness. I need the Lord just to fill my cup and make me whole. I just want to do the work for the Lord, but I don't know what is the endurance in my life. There's always been something that is blocking me, but I don't know. But I try to put it to the Lord at all times, but I don't know what is happening. So I'm asking you, dear, for favor me, please, in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me, Lord. Father, let this woman receive that which is hers. I pray your mercy. I pray your blessing over her and her household. I pray your blessing. I pray your mercy. Lord, let, let, let the windows of heaven be opened up over her life. I decree and declare more grace. I decree and declare more blessings. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I claim it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for calling, my dear. All the best Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right. Bless you. All right. So um, we're almost out of time, of course. Uh, MPIA is from 12.30 to 1.30. Um, it's now one twenty-five. We have another caller. Let's take this call. Caller, good morning. What's your name? Good morning. I'm Marvin from Clarendon. Clarendon? Mm-hmm. Clarendon, 31, Duke Mm-hmm. I'm asking him for prayer for me. Me can go to church, but me can't move. Me, me put up in night. Me can't move. Okay, so you and want to go to church, but you're having challenge with your feet or your foot or just one foot? Me up to me, me leg. Okay, your leg. Right foot, is can't. it is it numbness? Is it poor blood circulation? No. What's happening? No, no, I have blood circulation. What is it? I don't think so. What is what is causing you? What is causing you not being able to move freely? Ten years I back me drop in a wall and you I may have been and I affect the left foot. Okay. So now the right foot now, which 
can move with the right foot. Okay. With the right foot. Yep, you yep, mean yep, yep. Okay, okay. All right. Man of God, you want to pray for this one? Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare healing over this woman. I neutralize the plot and the plans of the enemy concerning you. I command every pain to leave. I command every tissue to align. Lord, send this woman a miracle. Send this woman a miracle. Let deliverance come, sovereign God, for this woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Really want to thank you for calling. All right. Really want to thank our listeners for reaching out and giving us a call on the studio line numbers. But we have to wrap things up. But just before we wrap things up this morning, I know the man of God would have said to some of the listeners, you know, get your olive oils, get your water, whatever you can this morning. And I know the man of God will have some instructions from the Lord to share with you at this time to go forth and to take action this morning. You heard the word. The man called Jacob, he had to wrestle for his blessing. There's something you need to do in order for you to experience. I believe he said something. I was trying to remember the word. You said something. Um, you have to do something to experience a manifestation. He said a big word, but I don't remember what the word was. But you can tell a the provocation. Listener. You have to, to cause a provocation to receive your manifestation. There has to be a provocation <laughs> for your manifestation. Go ahead, man of God. Yes, God bless you, man. Yes, that's what I was saying. Your provocation is for your manif manifestation. You know, what you're going through is to build you, to, is to help you to rise. So, you know, tonight I just want to say, you know, if you have been prayed for, you feel the fire of God by some means, you know, just step up by faith, you know, begin to activate that. I do believe in healing. I do believe in the healing ministry. I do believe in the, because I see it every, every, all the while. So, you know, if you had pain there, if you have be, be, had that challenge there, you have got to do something that you couldn't do before. You know, begin to move about, begin to walk about, do something that you couldn't do before, you know, and just receive it. Just receive what, which God is doing, you know, at this hour. Amen. 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 Receive what God is doing. I know, man of God, there are listeners who would have reached out. If I should look at the WhatsApp now, let me see. I still see messages here, person sending in, sending in their messages on WhatsApp and so on. Um, mm. Is there a way they can connect with your ministry? Um, what is definitely your... all right? All right, you can connect with my 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 ministry. Well, the church that I attend, which yes. I'm mm -hmm. a minister, I'm a minister at that church. Mm -hmm. I um. I'm in charge of the fasting service at my church. So every Wednesday at 10 a.m., we have a fasting service. And we are live on YouTube as, as well. And it is Wafif Jamaica, W-A-F-I-F -F, Jamaica. And you can search for us and you can join us in these services. Um, I'm going to leave a number with you, which is our prior line. Uh, the, the number to call for salvation for prior is 876-892-0496. 876-892-0496. And then there is 876-892-0599. And that's 876-892-0599. You can call either one of the numbers and be blessed. You can join us for our fasting service on wednesdays every wednesday power wednesday you know at 10 a.m mm -hmm. you know 10 to 2 p.m it's gonna be it's always a powerful service amen 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 and of course you are a gospel recording artist i, I you know the listeners are accustomed to hearing you yes, ministering this morning and i know you are a gospel minister so tell us about a little bit more about your ministry as a gospel recording artist um um, is there an, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm going to look on the system. Is there a recent album, any EP? Yes. Rise to, like greatness. Listeners to know? Rise to Greatness <laughs> is the latest um, project for me, Rise to Greatness. On the track, you have tracks with uh, Alicia Taylor, who is my, my nice. wonderful, extraordinary wife. That's right. Um, yeah. So that's a track with her. And there's a track with Tiffany Levy, which you played earlier, which is A Better Life. Mm -hmm. And then we have a track with Dunamis Rains too, which is armed and dangerous. 
and I have a song called Plenty Plenty, mm -hmm. and then there is one called The Prayer of a Preacher, which you can play tonight. You can play The Prayer of the Preacher, you know. So, you know, we are working out there in many different ways, in the ways that God has given me to to work. He gave me a gift, so I'm using it for His glory, you know. So you will definitely hear more music from me. <laughs> and yes. if you want to hear my preaching, I'm live on TikTok, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm on TikTok. I am on, I am on, yes, I'm on, I'm on all the, the social media platforms. So I'm on TikTok. I am on, on Instagram and I'm, I'm on Facebook and YouTube. And all of them you can find me by um, typing in Michael Malachi, which is M Y K E L. M A L A C H I M Y K E L M A L A C H I. So whether it be TikTok, YouTube, or uh, Instagram, all those platforms, you can find me. Definitely. You mentioned a song a while ago. I was trying to, to, to see if I could find it. Um, not sure if I can find. Not sure if it's in somebody's folder. Because what happened here? You know, sometimes, you know, when when the songs are sent in, you know, sometimes they don't go in the main system somebody might keep it for themselves but can you tell me the name <laughs> of the song has it been has it been played on love 101 before um, the prayer of a preacher prayer of the prayer preacher. of the preacher the prayer of the preacher michael malachi all right so, let me see if that comes up for for you prayer of a preacher we're, we're waiting to see if it if something will come up um it's kind yes. of it's kind uh, of the album is the ep is rise to greatness prior for preacher we played it last week you know i think it was last uh, week let me see if it's uh, this one is it this one let me see here is this this one yeah that's it man all right all right so listeners father save us deliver us set us free let every curse be broken me spend the whole night in the word of God Free a revelation for the church of God Sometimes the situation seems sad When me realize how oh, the world gone mad Yeah, me preach hard to me sweat out For me, the devil get out For getting the salvation Even if me preach and me only reach one Then me back and me feed for got the nation Save them all When me make this altar call Save them all Sound there, prayer for preacher Of course, you know, we have to Invite the listeners to come on over to the the uh, to <laughs> our to our uh, FM band to listen to the rest of this song or keep it locked into our Love One Hundred One FM app. Gonna be playing the album. Just um, send me a message on WhatsApp and I can go through and, and um, see if I can ensure that I locate these songs properly because I'm seeing it's labeled Prayer for Preacher, not seeing your name beside it. So I'm gonna correct that. Uh, don't worry about that. That's an internal, okay. <laughs> internal matter. Okay. But I really want to thank you again. No I really want to thank you again, Minister Taylor, for coming on and sharing. You know, it's absolutely wonderful having you. You know, nothing happens before time. I've been trying to get you on, you know, maybe a couple of weeks now, maybe over a month. Now. <laughs> but um, I believe this is the appointed time. It's a new month. It's a Amen. month of grace, month of favor. A month where God will just blow the minds of you know His people. I remember I was at um, a financial fair today in my community, and while I was there, you know, you know, you know, they, something was offered to myself and my wife, and I said to myself, you know what? Wow, we weren't thinking down this line. And look at what God God is leading us in the right direction. So whoever my, is listening, whoever is listening this morning, you know, just believe that whenever you stay faithful to God, don't go ahead of yourself. Don't try to to plot things out yourself, but just allow God to lead you. And guess what? He'll lead you into greener pastures. All right. So bless you again, minister. And your final bless words, you. final words before you go, sir. Anybody you like to say hi to big up, anything like that, you can do. Yeah, well, big stuff. up my entire family, you know, big up my immediate family, which is my internal family and, and my, my wife and my son. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've got to big up my extended family, you know, from the whole of me pen, you know, mm -hmm. from the people in Makina Nights, you know, to Azad, the Taylor family, uh, Mama Gloria, the whole works, you know, my mother, my father, mm -hmm. you know, and of course, I've got to big up my Wafi family, you yes, know, sir. big up the the, the Wafi people that are tuning in right now, you know, and of course, my followers, the people that follow, love the music, love the sound and everything. God bless you know, all my mentees, my God, big up all of you, know, you know, it's such a blessing. Yeah. Yes. 
blessings, uh, Minister Taylor, and all the best, you know, and say hello to your beautiful wife, Alicia Taylor, as well. All right? Blessings. Amen. Yeah, right. Bless you, man. And thank you. All right. The prayer, the preacher. The prayer, the preacher. Oh, this